What's up guys, Noelle here. And today's video might be on the shorter side, I have no idea. Maybe, maybe not. And it's also very random because I needed a quick video idea and so that's where was born this idea. <laughs> so as I may have mentioned in the past, I've, yeah, I've definitely mentioned it in the past somewhere in some video. I have a candle obsession. I just counted, I have 18 candles. Um, and probably easily about $300 worth um, because they're, a lot of them are from Bath & Body Works. But yeah, that's, I think anybody would agree that that's an insane amount of candles, especially for one person. And I don't even own a house. It's, I, <laughs> I just have a lot of candles because I have a problem. <laughs> so I thought it would just be fun to show you all of my candles and attempt to describe their scents. To you because that's that's easy right so yeah without further ado let's just get right into it so I'm not going in any particular order I have them all next to me on my bed in two rows somehow and I'm just gonna pick whichever ones I want to I don't know so the first candle I have here is this one is from Target the signature soy collection um, this one is in Sunkissed this one it's a double wick it smells kind of like I don't know how to describe it. Like, it's it's a familiar smell that I can't really explain. It's kind of like sunscreen, but like not as chemically. I don't really. It's hard to describe. Like you would have you have to smell this to know what I'm talking about. It looked like something flashed behind me. It's all good. But yeah, this is yeah. The next candle I have is a Yankee candle in sugared cinnamon apple. I got this one for Christmas this year, so it has only been used once so far um and a lot of my candles have not been burned through because i have so many it's kind of impossible to burn through them all really quickly so that's that um but this one sugar cinnamon apple it smells kind of like it it, it it smells pretty much exactly what you would think it is sugared cinnamon apple all of those basically it's pretty pretty basic you know Oh. Next candle I have is another Yankee candle that I also got for Christmas this year. This is in Harvest. Um, this one, it's, it's hard to describe this one too. It smells kind of cinnamony, but there's like more to it than that. Um, again, just like the Sunkissed one, a familiar smell, but like it would, you would have to, you'd have to smell it to know what I'm talking about. If you know, if you know what I mean. Yeah, that's. That's that one. The next one is a Bath & Body Works candle. It's one of the three wick ones. This is in Campsite Coffee. This one. Oh my goodness. It smells so strongly that like, I literally take off the cap and I can smell it from here. Um, it, when I burn it, my entire room and also the hallway outside smells like Starbucks. So if you're into that, if you've been wishing that you could have a candle that does that, <laughs> that makes your whole room or your whole house or whatever smell like Starbucks, this one is the way to go. I believe Bath & Body Works also has one in Paris Cafe that's the exact same. In fact, I actually had my eye on that like a few years ago and really wanted it because of that, but I found this one. It's, oh my gosh, it's amazing. <laughs> I love this one so much. It's probably one of my favorites. I mean, it's hard to pick favorites because I have 18 candles, but you know. Yeah. Next candle, I think is what started my candle obsession in the first place. I think I've had this since like ninth grade though. I'm pretty sure the wax is too low now to continue burning it. So I just kind of have it and have not used it in forever. Um, it's a Bath & Body Works candle in Boo. And this one, oh, I forgot the Bath & Body Works ones have the fragrance notes on the bottom. It says Moonlit Marshmallow, Eerie Vanilla, and terrifying tonka. I don't know what tonka is, but it kind of smells like marshmallow. Like that's kind of what I'm getting from it. Uh, yeah, it, this one, I have not seen this one around like ever. Maybe it still exists. I have no idea, but yeah, it's a little tiny one. The next candle I have, this is one of my lidless ones. Lidless ones really bother me. Like I keep all of my candles on a shelf in my closet. The lidless ones I always have to keep out on my dresser because 
I found a dead silverfish in one of my lidless candles one time when I kept it on the shelf and that traumatized me from ever keeping them there again. So, but yeah, I have a few candles that sit on my dresser. This is one of them. This is an Olivia Grace Mint and Neroli Aromatherapy Candle. I've never burned this one because, I don't know, I just haven't. Maybe I should. Yeah, I should definitely. It smells really good. It smells like a spa. Like, <laughs> if if you know what Neroli is. I don't know what Neroli is. This came in a set, by the way. It came with a set of like lotion and body wash and stuff like that. And this, this one is really nice. Next candle, this is a Bath & Body Works candle. I have a bunch of Bath & Body Works candles. You might be wondering how the heck can you afford all those Bath & Body Works candles? The answer is, I can't. I just buy them when they're on sale, literally. Like, I don't think I've ever paid full price for any of my Bath & Body Works candles. But yeah, this one I have is in leaves, and the fragrance notes are crisp red apple, golden nectar, and warm clove spice. This one, oh my gosh. It's the epitome of a fall scented candle. It smells, it smells mostly like apple. It's. It's so wonderful. Like every time I'm in the mood for fall to come back, I light this candle and I'm like satisfied right away. I love it so much. Definitely, definitely highly recommend this one. Next candle I have another lidless one. Fun fact, this is actually the one that I found the dead silverfish in. Still use it. I have burned it since then, so all that's gone. But <laughs> this is in Douglas Fir. I got this one from Target for $1.78 on clearance, so what a steal, <laughs> especially considering how expensive candles are. This one, it smells like a Christmas tree. My next candle is another one that I got from Target. It was one of the mini ones because I can afford the mini ones from Target better than I can afford the full size ones. This one is in Hawaiian Honey. Um, I don't know if anybody here knows what honey smells like. I didn't know what it smelled like until I got this candle. This was one I actually had my eyes on for quite a while, like I'd go to Target and every time I would like gravitate toward that candle and keep smelling it and be like, I should buy this one day. So one day I actually bought it and I love it. It smells so good. It's it's like one of those scents that's like kind of summery, but it also works for winter. I don't know. I, I sound like a candle connoisseur <laughs> because I am, but <laughs> yeah. Next candle I, I have is also from Target, another mini one in Harvest Chai. This one I actually got on clearance for $3.48, so another steal. This, it smells kind of similar. It smells like a cup of hot tea. That's what it smells like. It's very fall appropriate, I would say. I mean, this was in the fall collection, but yeah. This one is a really nice one, and I really like it. And it was on clearance, best part. Next candle, I got this one from Kirkland's. It is a three wick candle and it is in pumpkin patch. It smells like cinnamon and pumpkin and amazingness. It's the greatest fall scent of all time. I think I got it on sale there. I think they were having a sale on candles, so I naturally got one. Um, one thing I hate though is that, it's, it's all my fault by the way, um, I normally don't trim candle wicks before I burn them for the first time, even though it says to, I usually don't, because why would I? But this one time I did and I trimmed them too short, so now they're like little stubs and um, they make tiny little flames when they burn, but it still works. It still makes my room smell like pumpkin patch, so I'm not that mad. I'm mad, but I ain't stressing. Kendrick Lamar, but yeah. <laughs> This one I was actually burning earlier today, so my room still smells like pumpkin patch. But yeah, this one, amazing. Next candle I have is another Bath & Body Works candle in Tiki Beach. The fragrance notes say vanilla musk, orchids, toasted coconut with essential oils. So Karen would love this candle um, to give to her kids instead of vaccinating them. Um, this one, I... <laughs> It smells mostly like coconut to me and flowers. It's, yeah, it's, it's amazing. It's very fruity, which I really like. So definitely this is a great summer candle. It smells like, um, 
Like I said, it's so easy to describe smells. This next candle I have is from Ikea. There's a piece of dust on it. Some of the, oh, that's like, sorry. I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> um, it's from Ikea. Um, it says Sinlig. Um, I don't speak Swedish, but I Google translated it and apparently it means sensual. Um, it smells, it smells like chocolate. That's, I mean, it kind of looks like chocolate too, but it, yeah, it smells like chocolate. It's a wonderful chocolate candle. <laughs> what am I saying? But yeah, um, apparently Ikea candles are only like a dollar something or other like they're they're cheap so definitely get some candles from ikea if you can because yeah next candle i have is another bath and body works candle in toffee brittle um i actually got this one for free my mom had it and she didn't really like it that much so she gave it to me and now she does like it but she let me keep it because once candles make it into my candle abyss of terror they don't come out <laughs> I'm I'm telling you my obsession with candles is off the walls but yeah it's the fragrance notes right maple 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 cream brown butter and coconut sugar it smells very desserty I really like it it smells even better when you burn it in my opinion it smells very much like a bakery to me at least yeah that's toffee brittle it's one of the Christmas candles I got the little sweater design thing here but yeah next candle is also from bath and body works it clearly looks very well used because i've actually had this since my junior year of high school and i'm a freshman in college now so a little over two years ish um this one is in campfire donut and the uh the fragrance notes are powdered sugar glazed donut and cedarwood essential oil um this one also smells very desserty, um, very much like a donut shop. It's amazing. I wouldn't recommend it for everybody though because I know, I know some people probably wouldn't like it that much, but I like it. I'm not, I'm not picky with that kind of stuff. It smells amazing. This next candle I have also Bath and Body Works again. <laughs> This one is in Tis the Season and the fragrance notes are red apple, sweet cinnamon, and cedarwood. It smells insanely Christmassy. Um, I can't tell if I can smell more apple or more cinnamon. I think it's pretty even mixture of both. This one is definitely my favorite to light around Christmas time and sometimes in July because I am like that for some reason. Um, probably because my name is Noelle. What do you expect? But yeah, this one, amazing. I freaking love it probably one of my favorites which again it's hard to pick favorites because I have 18 candles but yeah next candle I bought on an impulse buy but it was on sale so don't freak out on me here this one is another Bath and Body Works candle in frosted cranberry um, this one has notes of iced cranberries blonde woods red apple tonka bean whatever that is with essential oils so Karen if you want to use that to keep your kids from getting the measles this is your this is your go-to candle here um it's it smells like cranberries it it's a very Christmassy smell I really love it um again a total impulse buy like I literally took it off the shelf smelled it and was like I need it <laughs> see ya <laughs> I mean I paid for it but you know I had to have it so I bought it and now it's mine um yeah and finally the last but certainly not least <laughs> is another Bath & Body Works candle in White Mint Latte. The fragrance notes, fresh peppermint, white chocolate, and whipped milk. It smells very minty. It smells more like an actual like latte when you burn it. Um, when it's cold like this, it smells like mint, but when you burn it, it smells more like a latte. And I love this one. It's it's very beautiful. This one I've also had for like two years, so it's a little bit more used than some of the other ones, but yeah. So that was my entire candle collection. I know some of you are probably questioning my sanity now, as well as my financial status, as you should be. Um, you should be very worried. I'm kidding. I'm not... <laughs> 
But anyways, if you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and click on that bell to turn on post notifications so that you never miss an upload from me. And yeah, that's all I got today. So have a good day and adios. Yeah.